Uh, right, recording. So, hi you guys and welcome to my channel. I'm back with a new video and I have just watched uh, Canelo and under that video, so many of you guys said that I have to check out this guy, Triple G. It was so bad of you, so I'm very excited to see what he is all about. I just worked out, so I got my workout clothes on still. Just watching this boxing content makes me so inspired just to get up and move a little bit. So I took a quick 30 minute bike ride. But anyways, I'm not gonna ramble. Let's get straight into the video. All right, Triple G, let's see. Stylistically, or in terms of the mental makeup or anything like that, but just in terms of the reaction, guys have to Golovkin's punches. He's like a middleweight Mike Tyson. Golovkin was born with the gift of power. A kill switch, capable of turning out the lights at any moment. Genadiyevich, I should say, Golovkin of Kazakhstan, the most rapidly burgeoning star profile in boxing at this moment. from Kazakhstan? Rising from an obscure corner of the map, Gennady Golovkin grew up in the remains of post-Soviet Kazakhstan. His two older brothers would have him start random street fights with strangers to make him tougher, sort of like Sheesh. Fight Club. You're gonna go out, you're gonna start a fight with a total stranger, and you're gonna lose. Tragically, both older brothers would die while in the army. Gennady would use the tragedy as fuel Golovkin's oh, amateur oh, record, goosebumps. 345 wins, 5 losses. Hold on, what did he say? How much? Golovkin's oh, amateur oh. record, 345 wins, 5 losses. What? Golovkin won a silver medal at 165 pounds in the Athens Olympics. And then he goes in the pros, and these guys just can't compete with him. Because he's ready. He's so ready. He's it's on such another level. His his technique is so sharp. And on top of that, he gets just this stupid punching wow. call that everybody's terrified. The video just started. With little professional boxing opportunities in his homeland, oh, Gennady moved to Germany to begin his professional career. No, but you know, he's, he's from his, just his tremendous amateur pedigree. Body punching has also been known to be devastating. Respectful, but fearless. If you give Golovkin an opening, opening, what we do know and what we've seen is that he is so heavy handed. Box. Known for his devastating knockouts in the ring. He's not gonna lie, his size doesn't look too intimidating. Golovkin comes from within. to knock you out, and so far, as an amateur and as a pro, he's almost always done it. He boasts a knockout ratio of nearly 90%. Golovkin with five first round knockouts in his career. And that starts with the feet. A lot of times when you see a puncher like Golovkin, everybody focuses on the upper body, but I watch the feet. He's always in position. And you can see by the way he's stalking, he knows that one punch. I'm amazed, you guys. I'm amazed. And that's what he's looking for. With Triple G, seemingly any punch could be the punch that ends it all. So it's Gennady Gennadovich Golovkin. Golovkin is a precision knockout artist. He stormed through his division, rattling off 16 wins. Not only heavy-handed, he's skillful and precise. Crowd who's an Oz at the body shot spot. 13 by way of knockout. I thought he was the best value for your entertainment dollar in the entire world back then. In his 17th fight, he would set aim on capturing his first belt. In the gym, as an amateur or as a pro, I asked him what's the worst he's ever been hurt, and he couldn't answer the question. He claims he's never been hurt. Maybe he, maybe he hasn't. 
and I think such a beautifully balanced fighter already on the front foot and his jab is much underrated it's not just about the power with him he's got a dancer's feet as well Very clinical, isn't he? He doesn't waste the punch at all. And everyone, look at that, look, the pinpoint accuracy yeah. and the power as well, you know. He... Check out this blistering combination. There's a cerebral precision about it. He's a thinking fighter. Doesn't waste anything. He was becoming that kind of a uh, boogeyman that, uh, oh man, did you see that Russian kid in... in... Wood just got around. Golovkin finds that looping right hand does get to the target. The most feared fighter in boxing, Triple G, Gennady Gennadyevich Golovkin, takes on his most formidable challenger to date. He was now the WBO Intercontinental Middleweight Champion. Next, he would get a shot at the interim WBA World Middleweight title. Crowd begins to chant. And you know the chant. Triple G. The fight lasted for about a half a round. Not only is he lovely outside the ring, he is devastating inside it. At one point, he held a 23-fight KO streak, all coming against top 10 ranked opponents and title holders. That's really the mystique that uh, Gennady brings to the ring, as people know how big he can punch. It's the way he knocks people out. I got goosebumps These iconic knockouts, these indelible images of violence. What is this? He's amazing. As his rampage through the division continued, Triple G collected another belt. We saw, just saw Mike Tyson, what Mike Tyson once did, what, as you mentioned, Jim, Manny Pacquiao once did, what Roberto Duran once did. Not only be an exciting, attacking fighter, but be the baddest man on the planet. The left hook that he won his last fight with was one of the outstanding punches that you'd see any time. Yet another first round KO. You couldn't even believe the it! The eye is a mess. He got me! And he it just me. looked momentarily when that right hand stiffened and another one now. Are you okay? I can tell you the answer oh, to that. Not. It is no. Oh, I think the referee could easily be stopping this right here and now. I don't think we need to see too much more. And Gennady, Gennady Golovkin has simply steamrolled his Japanese challenger. The last fighter to arouse the passion of boxing fans with a knockout streak like Golovkin's was more than 25 years ago when Mike Tyson began his career with 17 Mike, straight knockouts. You know. Though the Western world knew little about him, those in the know were beginning to compare his power to Mike Tyson's. At the age of 30, only now making his American TV debut, he not only has to win, but has to win big. Tired of languishing in obscurity, Triple G hired a new trainer and headed to the United States. Middleweight champion of the world, Gennady Golovkin. Rocks are feeling the power of Golovkin. He's gonna hit wherever he sees room. Can't hide. He's gonna lock it up. Good left hand to the body and left to the head. Down goes Golovkin. Just cool cards. Seven. Nothing needed. Zero. Okay. No show. I don't think the boxer has ever been hit this hard. Trash talk. I mean, this is the show. It's all you need. Like, it speaks for itself. Middleweight. Uh, tonight, I think he could have given a lot of middleweights in the world run. Based on what I saw, he was no match for Gennady Golovkin. 
Finito. Finito. Two days before his next fight, Gennady came down with the flu. Starting on Wednesday, you know, he started uh, not feeling well, the throat was getting scratchy, he was getting congested, and then by Thursday, it got a lot worse. Despite the illness, Triple G didn't miss a beat. The undefeated WBA, IBO, middleweight champion of the world, the Kazakh KO King, Gennady, Triple G. <laughs> Gennady like, utilized his thunderous jab to methodically beat down Rosado. He hit you hard enough for those short punches to open up a cut. Throwing him through walls. Basically, any jab thrown by him is a power jab. He throws everything hard. Rosado bleeding along the left eye. Blood from his nose. Oh mouth my is swollen. God. Oh my god, look at his face! He's meatloaf! Oh, good right hand oh. on the uppercut, rock back for Zombie! What, what point do you maybe you have to stop this? Look at the blood. Bloodying him more and more. Oh, stop it, man! Yeah. Gino, I gotta stop it, your son's gonna die, man! Until eventually, his corner threw in the towel. Oh, and there's the corner of the, they're gonna stop it. The corner of Rosado stopping it. Come on. And and well, his trainer, Abel Sanchez, when they work in Big Bear, he says, I gotta bring in all big guys to work with him, boy. Because he doesn't feel threatened by anybody his size. Triple G trains at 7,000 feet above sea level. His relentless training sessions are a thing of legend in the fight world. The boogeyman of the sport right now. This guy is the most feared man in boxing. It's not enough to just have power. You gotta have more than that. You gotta put it all together. I'm gonna try to brag about my 30 minute bike ride. But you guys see, you get inspired when you see this. Like... It's not enough to just have power. Ernie Shavers had great power. He never won a world title. Better get out the move, you guys. Something. He's not just a puncher. He knows how to punch. The technique like and the me. mechanics is there. It's not just the power, it's the way he uses it. Give me another. Here, this level, Gennady. This level. <laughs> da, da, da. Spasiba. Monte Carlo, Monaco. Boy, he's throwing a jab that's landing like a right hand, but he's not off balance when he's throwing it. Pumping right hand, Golovkin. Pulverizing Ishida with his jab. Mm. He just keeps coming. Like some sort of Eastern Bloc Terminator. Hasta la vista. Baby. Thirteen knockouts in a row. His reign of terror continued. He's the first guy to come along since Mike Tyson, where his trainer is explicit. He walked into the gym, I saw a guy who could be a sensational action, come forward knockout machine. We've trained to be just that, and then he goes out and does it. 13 straight knockouts. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! A crippling body shot folded Macklin like a lawn chair. That's it. And that'll be the 14th consecutive yeah, knockout like, for Gennady Golovkin. It comes at the third round. And what we just saw was not ordinary. It was extraordinary. That kind of punching power. 
Uh, Curtis Stevens talked his way into this fight with a lot of big talk Curtis, and has tried know, to get under Gennady Golovkin's skin. But one point that he made to us yesterday face to face is, hey, I'm a guy who used to fight as a light heavyweight. I've come down 15 pounds in weight. That's why I'm such a massive puncher in the middleweight division, and Golovkin hadn't seen anybody like me. You know, obviously, I've been calling him out, you know, and I'm going to go in there and do what I do. It's everybody that he's not like that. He's not like that. He's overrated. I'm going to go in there and demolish him. Almost no one thinks this fight is going the distance. What avenue are we yeah, about yeah, to yeah, take? Yeah, 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 yeah. I wish. Good right here, my beloved. There it is. Oh. Oh. oh, with the lefty. Oh. The look on Stephen's face there says a thousand oh. words. That was a face that said, wow. Curtis Stephen's mom, Tanya Rozier. Against Curtis Stevens, Triple G beat him so badly, his mother had to exit the arena mid-fight. And you can't play him because nobody wants to watch their son take punishment like that. I wouldn't leave my kids. And they're gonna stop it in the corner. Good or bad, I would leave That's there. a great stoppage. Andre Rozier had seen enough. Golovkin, maybe the best middleweight in the world. I mean, you hear the rumors out of the gyms, you see the record, you know the amateur pedigree. He's certainly the most avoided oh, wait, wait, middleweight. Right Triple G was finally being recognized as the greatest show in the sport. Gennady Golovkin, or Triple G as he's known, is the hardcore fight fan's favorite fighter because every time they see him, he's knocking Back someone out. But that's a Counter crazy. Yeah, that Golovkin is throwing. He thought he had it. <laughs> he's in bad trouble, Jim. Left hook to the body and a right hand, and Gil trying to get his head together. And Gil can't go forward, and it's a third round knockout for Golovkin. That was smart by Gil. He saw he had no balance. The contest had already been decided. He would now contend for the WBA super middleweight title. Gennady Gennadyevich Golovkin rapidly gaining recognition as among the best of the best in this sport. His ascension to the top is the realization of big dreams. The best guys that would get in the ring with him, he's either met expectations or exceeded them every time out. You ready? This might be his biggest fight so far. Can he do it again? My record is insane, you guys. 350 amateur fights, 30 pro fights, never knocked down. 18 knockouts in a row. Highest knockout percentage of any middleweight titleist in history. You guys heard it. ECG with a 16 to 10 at edge in power shots. Just on you. Like, almost like, so predator-like. See how he varies here. Predator at work. Look yeah. at how he adjusted the arm on the left hook to get it over Rubio's guard. Crazy technique and hunger. Just oh, oh, Rubio. Touch, oh, touch, oh, touch, oh, touch, oh, touch. It's the first time we saw so fast. He just wanted to see that he was done. It was only a matter of time. It's, it's always cool. just a matter of time. Second round knockout. Gennady. Triple G. Triple G. After making quick work of Marco Antonio Rubio, Triple G would go 11 rounds with Martin Murray. So the moment of truth then, and now Martin Murray is going to find out if he can handle Gennady Golovkin. Golovkin again throwing from all sorts of angles. Oof. Oh my god, he's bullying him. Can't get any hits. Murray, you gotta respond. At least you gotta respond quick. You're not getting anything in. Shakily 
to his feet right at the end of the round. Are you right? The referee calls a halt in the 11th. Gennady Golovkin will remain world champion. Next, he would be pitted against another knockout artist in Willie Monroe Jr. Can he be the one to go the distance and snap the 20 fight knockout streak? Because I'm a karate man. Hey, right? Murphy. Karate man groove on the inside. <laughs> and already early on here, he has shown that he can, in fact, trap Monroe in corners from time to time. Oh, he aimed for that one. Ooh, he read it. to hurt you. Gennady Golovkin is a classic case of heavy hands. Yes, he is. Oh! Square Garden, Triple G's debut on pay-per-view, middleweight title on the line, two monster punchers. It just doesn't get any better. And this crowd is excited. Why does it take him so long They're to get there? Everything. He sold out Madison Square Garden in his next outing. Everybody talks about Golovkin's I'm power punching. I'm you should have been. He lands more jabs per round than any top fighter in the sport. Look Even at the jab and himself. the accuracy with which Golovkin is landing it. He's rocking it and he's getting blasted by the left jab and the left jab is setting up solid right hands. Gennady put on a master class utilizing the jab. And talk about getting hit. There was the left hook and Lemieux is hurt. You heard it! The left hook! Slowly breaking his opponent's lefty. will. I'm proud. Making us look lefty with good. Wow. Six! Seven! Hey, you alright? Hey, you alright? Are you okay? Steve Willis is gonna stop the fight. Technical knockout for Golovkin in the eighth. Max Kellerman, your final impressions on Gennady Golovkin's, as you said, systematic beatdown of David Lemieux. Like, yeah, there hasn't him. been a, a long-reigning, aggressive knockout artist, middleweight champion. In They're looking completely destroyed, and he's just smiling, no scratch, kind of. Guys. When was the last time a fighter, a champion, so consistently delivered this kind of violence and these kind of knockouts, fight after fight after fight? Go ahead, say it. The answer is Mike Tyson. Boom, perfect timing. Well, Mike, Mike is my favorite, but I'm just saying. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, a thudding, piston-like jab. A looping right hook. And down goes Wade for the second time. Another knockout. His next fight against Cal Brook. He's like, sold out me? 
in nine minutes. 35 professional victories, 32 knockouts, 22 straight wins inside the distance. This is what boxing and sport is all about. Two undefeated fighters. Gennady Gennadyevich Golovkin, Triple G, is the hottest fighter in boxing with 22 consecutive knockouts heading into the September 10 fight. Gennady beat Brooks so thoroughly, his corner threw in the towel in the fifth round. Wow. Engel is hurt. in the far corner is, hurt. is holding up the towel. Engel is trying to get referee Marlon Wright to stop the fight, and now he finally throws the towel into the ring, and Gennady Golovkin is going to have a technical knockout victory in round number five. And that's an amazing decision on the part of Dominic Engel. Before he faced Daniel Jacobs, Golovkin had stopped 23 consecutive opponents. Welcome. Your timing is perfect. If somebody got knocked out of your brackets, don't worry. There'll be another knockout coming very soon <laughs> in the estimate of most people. That's the, the Golovkin style that makes him so exciting, man. That's why Mexican fighters love him. Hard right hand by Golovkin. Down goes Jacobs. The first knockdown of the fight comes in round number four. Golovkin actually lands more jabs than anybody in boxing. Against Daniel Jacobs, Gennady's knockout streak would come to an end. In his prime, Triple G struggled to get any top contenders to step in the ring with him. Knowing his power could end their career, they avoided him like the plague. The long-awaited showdown between already legendary knockout artist Canelo. Gennady Golovkin of Kazakhstan oh, yeah. and consummate boxer puncher Canelo Alvarez of Mexico. It's the most compelling style matchup in boxing in several years. Triple G Canelo this weekend, finally, the super fight, yep. the mega fight. Yep. He would face Canelo Alvarez in a huge matchup between two of the best in the sport. The fight was everything fans hoped. <laughs> I've seen both, it makes them more like I understand them. Uh, okay. Two the masters caliber. of their craft battling back and forth. Many of history's greatest fighters no, have the crown of this division. It's different to watch them in the middle. If Golovkin didn't win by some ungodly lopsided yeah. beatdown, that he could lose a decision because of corruption. He goes, because that's how boxing rolls, and there's way more money in Canelo winning. Shakes his head. That usually means he got hit. I remember this. I think in the last two rounds, it started to resemble more of a Triple G type of fight. Knocking Canelo back with the right hand. 58, 56. Gennady Golovkin. For sure, Golovkin. For sure. Right? Unless there's unless there's corruption. Like Brandon unless says, there's corruption. He's not crazy no, to say that. I doubt it. But as the fight went on, it became clear to most that Triple G was winning. The, the unofficial scorecard guy had it for Golovkin by several rounds. We think it was Golovkin clearly, although Canelo fought a great fight. It was uh, uh, equal, right? Gennady was the clear and decisive winner. The decision. But Canelo was given the draw. The draw, that's the draw. Golovkin finished with a score round. <laughs> a three-way split. This is officially a draw. No way that you see 118 to 110 for Canelo, and you say, well, it's just a mistake. Listen. One more in a long list of corrupt boxing decisions. Las Vegas, Nevada, make some noise you I just feel like where he's from that is not as attractive as if he would have been from America or someplace else. Would they have treated him differently? Get ready to go in the ring, in the rematch. The rematch was another battle. This one closer than the first fight. Canelo won this one, right?
most had the fight going for Triple G, or perhaps another draw. But it wouldn't be boxing without highway robbery from the refs. It's a robbery, guys. Robbery? Gennady received his first loss. At age 38, perhaps his best days are behind him. But what he did during his reign atop the boxing world was astonishing. For an improbable boxing run, I would see him become the most feared middleweight on the planet. Nobody brings it home like it should. Another respectful, like, sheesh. Wow. Uh, comment down below. I said Robbie, that's a huge word. Both super talented. I mean, now I've been watching Canelo and then this guy, like, back to back. Wow. I'm amazed. First, I'm checking out Triple G, though. Crazy. What I just didn't think that it could get any better from you know Canelo like watching previous and then this guy like it's insane. Definitely up with the grace. But like I said though, uh I feel like he would have gotten more chances earlier and maybe more attention in general if he was from another country. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I might be wrong and I'm very fine with being corrected, so but I feel like depending on country, they're gonna treat you differently. Like some countries are more attractive than others. It's just what it is. Even in my favorite sport, football or soccer, as Americans call it, it's the same thing. Some countries are more, you know, uh, higher ranked or whatever. They just treat you differently. More opportunities, more chances. But anyways, I will stop rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as much as I did. And like and subscribe, all good stuff. I will take a shower and then. Probably not get some sleep. It's like 30 in the morning. Anyways, we're not going to talk about my sleeping problems. <laughs> Bye, you guys. <laughs>